Nashville coming together tonight for a candlelight vigil in honor of the lives lost in places destroyed three weeks after Helene. As Fox Connors' Alexa Erbach explains, the vigil was more than an event. It was a time for healing. Hugs, laughter, and tears. Sometimes all at the same time during Asheville's candlelight vigil at Pack Square Park. Mayor Esther Manheimer choking up while reading the poem Bones by Gerald Smith written in response to Helene. Will this land be healed? Will the waters run clear and quiet again? <laughs> Asheville Fire Chief Michael Case receiving a standing ovation for the work his team provided since the storm. Case using his time instead to call neighbors the real heroes. Neighbors have come forward to support. Strangers have come forward to support. Being a hero can take many forms. It is an act showcasing incredible compassion and making a difference. The square packed with grieving supporters. I feel uh, a sense of healing after coming. I'm really glad I, I came because I have cried, but I knew I needed to cry more and to do that in community. Trees fallen during the storm used to create an altar at the vigil and other pieces of remembrance. This is one of the installations created for the candlelight vigil by local artist Tony Bales. He says it's reminiscent of a pyre, an ancient ritual to honor life lost. In this case, and what local officials are calling a city of heroes. I think it brings a lot of symbolism of the destruction that we can turn into something beautiful. Another piece created out of a spruce tree that once stood in the city square for 50 years. It's been here to give us shade and comfort and it's given us oxygen as humans and now it is fallen. Instead of it being refuse, it's it's in a place of honor. An evening of beauty in a city that continues to recover and rebuild. It was just so beautiful to see everyone come together in a way that I've never seen before. Now, yesterday, officials confirmed more than 90 storm-related deaths in North Carolina, 42 of them in Buncombe County alone. And I've seen